Hello and welcome. We are back in the beating heart of the European Parliament here in Brussels. And I can tell you, we are fired up, we are flabbergasted and we are fuming. And that can mean only one thing. <laughs> yes, this is Brexbox. <laughs> Well, it's sunny September here in Brussels and I have to tell you that parliamentary recess is, well, a dim and distant memory. MEPs have been dragged off the beaches in Tuscany and uh, talking of dragging things up, I've had my nets out, I've been trawling and I have found a mighty catch of three brilliant, bodacious Brexiteer MEPs and here they all are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know I love doing that. Uh, you time, do love doing that. Time. Can I just say, um, I am captivated by... Uh, that was a fly. An inc no, not the <laughs> fly. Oh, my wife. I was going <laughs> to say by that incredibly uh, nice portrait of, uh, of Dorbs. I know. Well, you know, he's, he's as charismatic as always. Here he is, really? actually, for once, letting someone else get a word in Edgeway. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I can't... Like, like, we we love you, Dorbs. Yeah, yeah, okay. Actually, I can't like him like this I because know, he can't teach it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so Belinda, new term, new offices, and... And, um, nothing well, works. I am hoping this is a good sign uh, <laughs> because uh, my air conditioning doesn't work, the tables are broken, we have changed offices again, and we're somewhere far dim and a million miles from anywhere. <laughs> so maybe, maybe the EU thinks we might be leaving because no longer <laughs> are they furnishing our offices with the like luxuries us. of the bags and the champagne and all that sort of thing. Yes, so, that's so, all uh, so it is a little bit more hopeful that we're in dodgier <laughs> offices. Okay, well, Louis, I can't actually print anything because we don't have printers that work. So at the, at the uh, moment, can I just say? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, where did you get that done? I don't know. Oh, uh, right. Someone else did it. I've only just got off the Euro start, to now, be fair. Now, in Strasbourg, you were in a bunker. What, what's your office like I here? was, I was. So, my office, compared to what I was in, or what I am in, in Strasbourg, is, uh, is really quite nice. So, really? it's with you guys, for a start, so I'm not on my own. No. Have you got windows? Not with us, are you? I, I mean, got... the one there? The no, I mean, building... the one down there. So, the <laughs> one that's... Yeah. We've, they've already Brexited us, because we're not actually in the Parliament anymore. So you're we're in a building. Building oh, down the street. So We're in a building just, down just the street. Just explain that for people who don't understand. So obviously this is a huge institution and they've Brexited so us good. because we're actually not attached to anything. No, we're not. So we're in like a separate building now, which is halfway down the high street, um, not attached to the Parliament. <laughs> uh, but I'm with my colleagues, which is great. This yeah. is a new thing for me, so but, I'm enjoying it. But you're not with us. I think they've separated us. We're like the naughty kids at school, aren't okay, we? We're yeah. all sort of like distributed in different buildings <laughs> because I know that Belinda and I are over in a building in that that a direction, and we've got I think we've got the southeast and the southwest MEPs yes, together in in have. our sort of decrepit. Wow, this is pretty big though. Is well, it? let's just hope. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's it's like we leave. Like, we don't have to spend too much New York time here. Or can I just say on the upside, my office is so large, and I we, Liam and I have <laughs> just worked out that we have, we've walked five and a half miles already today. I think I'm going to have a yoga studio in it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the only thing, a bit of meditation. I'm thinking of sub sublets in mind because it is so large. It's huge, absolutely right. huge. And so shall we move on to yeah. matters serious? So um, yeah. you've just returned from College Green in Westminster and, yeah. and just complete chaos in Westminster. Mm. I think yesterday we saw something quite unprecedented where Parliament seized control of, of what, uh, agenda, what's go going order, on, the yeah. agenda in, in, uh, in the chamber. And, you know, these are extraordinary scenes. It's absolutely mad. It, the news is changing by the hour. I'm sitting here with my phone in front of me in case some alert pops up because it's changing by the hour. I have moments where I'm like, oh, man, they've thwarted it. They've got us, you know, they're going to push through the Hillary Benn bill. That means they're going to come and ask for an extension. That bill actually says if it gets through, it says, um, they're going, they've got to, it, it, it binds the government to ask for a three month extension, which Boris has said, I'm not going to do that. Which would take us into January. Um, yeah. I, uh, now there's talk about are they going to filibuster it out of the Lords? And then there was a plan to stop the filibustering out of the Lords. Now there's a plan to add loads of amendments to the bill in the Lords, and each amendment has to be voted on twice. And it's just, it's changing all the time. But, but also, there's, there's another part of this, really, which is the more I thought about it overnight, the more angry I got, because it's a surrender, it's a complete surrender saying to the EU that you actually they us. can they can be, yeah you yeah. tell us how long we stay in this for yeah. if, of course Frau von der Leyen um, had said in her maiden speech that uh, you know give us she'd give us a she year wanted. how generous and my fear is this if that bill goes through 
even if Boris says, oh, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to go and ask for an extension, I've heard gossip of a cabinet secretary might do it or it'd be a constitutional crisis and, you know, Lord knows what. Um, if we do go to the EU and ask for an extension and they say, OK, it's a year, because, you know, what's the point in giving three months or whatever? What's <laughs> the point in having an extension oh, at all? <laughs> but um, the service is great, isn't it? <laughs> but... Um, but uh, I lost my train of thought now. But no, um, I want to know where mine <laughs> is. <laughs> no, it's not. But um, no, if if we do end up with a year extension, Boris, by actually booting out the rebels, has actually now created a minority government of minus forty-two. Because of course, twenty-one are now potentially voting against him, and oh. they just keep coming oh, out. Yeah. That's very kind. Look, look, look. Oh, oh, this is oh, service. Oh, 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 that's for oh, you. That's not. Thank you so oh. much. Yeah. Well, you I'm happy one. This was not our environment. Not in Parliament, can, I, can I just stop no, you in full flow, just yeah. for a second? I have to say, I, I thought Boris acted extremely swiftly. He had told them he would yeah. remove the whip. He yeah. removed the whip. And, but, and okay. I have to say, I watched that and I thought, you know, good on him. Do you want to hear my deep conspiracy theory now? Go on, then. Yeah. It is a deep conspiracy theory, but listen, now he's got a minority government. The, the playbook of Boris is everything he needs to say and do right now. He has to be acting like the tough guy. If we have an extension, it's ideal for him that his fingerprints aren't on it. It's also possible possibly ideal for him, given that he's one week no deal Boris, the next week I'll get a deal Boris, okay. then he's withdrawal agreement without backstop yeah. Boris. It's ideal for him to have other people calling the shots and him say nothing to do so with me, Dove, so but he's now got a minority government and my fear is under an extension with a minority government, that gives the whip hand to the Remain alliance, really, yeah. and then they could turn around and say, we want a second referendum. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. my fear now. So if yeah. what you're saying is essentially he is constructing this so he can literally wash his hands of it and therefore he can say, well, it was nothing to do with me. You know, obviously the, all these forces were at play and therefore the right. second referendum has come I'm about not, despite my best efforts. I'm not saying that's what he's doing, but he's able to do that. You know, the playbook is enabling him to do that. If we do end up with an extension, if we do end up stuck inside, Boris will be able to say, my fingerprints aren't on it. And actually, actually, does that not make his life easier? Well, on some level. Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 my concern is that um, what is said in front of the cameras and all this wonderful rhetoric and, and, and this very sort of brave, I'm going to do it and take it, take the whole EU, uh, you know, on my own, is, is actually what's happening behind closed doors in the, in the chat rooms. I'd love to be a fly on the wall because um, the Brexit party here are literally the custodians now of Brexit. Because even though Boris might be saying and trying to deliver Brexit, his party is essentially, or the MPs are essentially still remain majority. Yeah. So even if he does mm. get a deal through, who's to say the remain MPs won't unpick it after it's been passed right. in some way? So we need to stay around. We need to keep yeah. that toe So you know, he, the you, he keeps saying that, oh, you know, we are making good progress with our European friends and allies. How much of that do you think is true? I I'm not sure. I have a feeling that actually the, the arch remainers in our parliament have been working uh, with the EU counterparts here okay. to ensure that Brexit is as impossible and as it can be. And that was clear with Hammond, I thought. Very, it was reported in the bu yeah. BuzzFeed that he was talking to EU lawyers and this is the problem with EU membership. And it's inevitable that parliaments and, and MPs uh, lose their, their will to govern. They, they have almost organically become sort of infants to mother EU and they need their crutch. They're dependent on the EU and they, they're, they're terrified of yeah. governing by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And um, just following up on your point, Louis, perhaps, you know, MPs right now, right this minute, are debating the European Union withdrawal mm. um, bill. Um, the Brexit party is you know, lots of people keep saying, as Belinda was saying, what is the relevance of the Brexit party? But actually, we're more relevant than ever because we are keeping this on the agenda. We are keeping the pressure up. Mm, absolutely. And I think we wouldn't be in this situation now if it wasn't for the Brexit party. It's, it's plain and simple. The Tories cannot be trusted on this issue. They're divided. I mean, we are the only political party where every one of our members is focused on a single objective, and that is to make Brexit happen. Yeah, no, and that is very clear. And in fact, that's what I think is that it literally is the differential with all of us. And we've said this before, all the MEPs mm. come from uh, hugely different backgrounds. We are united by this common purpose, as Nigel keeps saying, a clean break Brexit. Yeah. And you have to negotiate from a position of power. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what's driving me totally mad at the moment? I just need to get this off my chest. <laughs> I have just done a flurry of interviews back at base, um, College Green, with all the you know harassment from the crazies who lurk around. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, every single interview, people always say, nobody voted for no deal. Yeah. And I'm like, hold on. 
Hold your horses right there, my friend, because Article 50, the EU's own legislation, which, can I just say, the majority of MPs voted to pass. Indeed, says, originally, yeah. says you have two years to get a deal. If not, you leave on WTO terms. Absolutely yeah. right. If yeah. Parliament yeah. is Article sovereign, as they keep the saying, MPs they voted for it. And actually, voted for that. And then everyone's like, no one voted for no And actually, Brexit. I and just like, watched... It's not true. You did, actually. I just watched the, an interview with the then Prime Minister, David Cameron, and he made it very clear, very that, clear. that actually yeah. the legal recourse yeah. is that you have two years, and at the end of that two years, the mm. legal default is you leave on WTO terms. And I keep saying, this is the other thing, people are messing all of this up with their sort of agenda-driven semantics. The withdrawal agreement is the divorce bill. It isn't the future Absolutely. relationship. Indeed. Absolutely. So actually, yeah. this is the yeah. getting out, and then you have a deal. You yeah. don't necessarily need this sort of bound-together, complex, no. still but part of the EU deal international treaty, worst deal in history that Theresa May came back with, the campaign said, leave the customs union, leave the single market, leave the ECJ. Both Remain said, oh, terrible things, we'll have to leave all of these, and Leave said, woo, woo, we get to leave all of these see, things. See, see. Ever since, now it's like, oh, well, no one voted for no... Di Come J on, just drink, just, just drink some wine for the yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to... Yeah. I'm just, just going to say, literally, every night I go to bed and my head is exploding because mm. there are claims and counterclaims and propaganda, and actually, I think your point is valid. When you distill this, it's very simple. People voted to leave, we need to leave. Mm. End of story. And actually, they're all spinning it. Yeah, and my concern is, with the withdrawal agreement, when I speak to people out there, they're kind of, you know, there could be this perception that that's it, it's over and done with once that, that agreement, yeah. Yeah. if that <laughs> dreadful agreement was signed. But people need to understand that that is, as you say, it's just the start of that. We could be locked in this situation for yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Could you imagine 20 years of Brexit? That would just be unbearable. Well, of course, the country can't get on, you know. And actually, Nigel keeps making this point, and it's the right one. Not only is this not a withdrawal, uh, deal it's a new European treaty and yeah. it's appalling this deal isn't it yeah well having the ECJ have jurisdiction over the UK is, is is ridiculous I mean I don't know where it's happened in history other than you know in in, in China I think was uh, was the last time that that uh, an in, independent uh, court wasn't used in in treaties between two parties wow. um, so that has to go the withdrawal agreement is dangerous because it keeps us so close to the EU that it could take one general election to just slip right back to remain so it's essential that, that that deal is dead and gone and either a new fresh trade deal or we leave on WTO my, my biggest concern really is that that the British public are getting worn down worn out yeah. and, 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 and overburdened them? and exhausted but this is a tactic this is what Absolutely. the remainers want so I Absolutely. urge all our viewers and all Brexit supporters this is the time where your energy and your support needs to be at its highest yeah. we are at a crossroads now and if, if we submit now if we go it's too much it's exhausting we're just never gonna win we're playing right into their hands and we're on a, on a very dangerous path I, I would totally agree with that and in fact people are so exhausted by it. if Boris came back with a deal that removed the backstop, he could say, well, look, we got rid of the, yes. the dreaded backstop, yes. we're going to sign it, and it's over, and it's only Brian no Brexit in name only. Yeah. But I think many people would think, thank goodness that's over. Yeah. Yeah. But of course yeah. it's not yeah. over. Yeah. I tell you what, if they remove the backstop, they're not going to remove the backstop, no, but if they not. remove the backstop, they would cheekily somehow replace it with something else. Yeah. Yeah, because think... we all know, look, when you live and work in Brussels, and <laughs> I have been out for interesting cups of coffee and interesting lunches and all sorts with people who are very much on the Remain side, people who work for the Commission, lawyers who work for the Commission, other MEPs, so on and so forth. It's a, a, a badly kept secret over here that the whole Northern Ireland border issue is essentially a ploy to keep us it's in the country. It's a ploy. Yeah. It is exactly what that. What they want more than anything, well, no, what they don't want more than anything is the UK to suddenly be cutting tariffs and therefore undercutting the EU and becoming a hub for industry in Europe and showing how ineffective, yep. protectionist and backwards the EU trading 100%. system is. And But everyone just buys this stuff. Mm. They just buy into it. Mm. And I just think, how are people so duped? Sometimes I think I must be the mad one mm. For, mm. for actually seeing through all the murk and the fog and saying, but it's very simple. And like you're talking about confusion that's constantly mm. being created, it's the same with the two main parties. 
What is Labour's yeah. position on Brexit? No one knows. Yeah. What is multi Boris? You know, is he mm. deal, no deal, yeah. backstop? I mean, depends you don't know. Depends He's what all they know. Exactly They're all right. multifaceted. Yeah, we are the They've caretakers. We're, we're like the, like the nannies that you know of a crash, a, a badly behaved <laughs> crash. And the without, badly without, crash no, they no, the Parliament is, the Brexit yeah. Party oh. are, are like the, the nannies or the matrons or Mary Poppins trying to keep them in order because the analogy I use is I feel we're driving through fog. You have moments of enormous clarity where you know exactly where you're going and then everyone drifts this fog in you get confused yeah. yourself because there's claim and counterclaim and it's really important yeah. to stay true and watch the road and know where you're going and, and the manipulation the, of language is insane so if you're told a hundred million times a day that blue is green and, <laughs> yeah. and, and water is air and and you know yes. Brexit is Brian yes. Brian is Brexit the, this whole film of, of as you say fog just descends <laughs> and everyone's like am I wrong am I really a Nazi am I really and they start questioning themselves don't you dare this is the right Right thing to do. Self determination for any nation should be what we promote well, around right. the world. Of course, yes, and also yes, we need yes. to be a free, independent, self governing country, as what's we have so said for I weeks and weeks and weeks. The language thing is so, so interesting because yeah. being on College Green and hearing them all chant their little slogans that they, they, they concoct and it becomes <laughs> the buzz phase of the day, at the moment it's like, stop the coup. And I'm like, hold on. <laughs> stop, stop, <laughs> that should be what That should be what the Brexit is, I say. We're the ones who are having our democratic voice and vote silence. I know, it's crazy. And my other favourite that they've all like, at, but first of all, it's like, oh well, people who voted Brexit are the thick, poor, left behind people. They don't know what they've done. And now it's bankers Brexit. In the closing minutes, in the closing minutes, I just want to yeah. go around and ask you very quickly what happens next. Ha you know, what what do you think is the game plan? For well, I, I would love Boris to call a general election. We need to change will the bombs on those seats. Um, he needs two thirds. Uh, he needs to remember. do it. Yeah, he needs two thirds. Well, I, let's. Just just hope that he does what he says on the tin and we have one politician we can trust because we're all behind him if he delivers a clean Brexit. Let's go for it. Exactly. Louis? Yeah, I, you know, sorry to use a cliche, but we need to drain that swamp. Let's get yeah. rid of these uh, these Remainers from the Conservatives. Let's let's stop pushing this forward. We need to make Brexit happen. And Alex, are we going to be sitting here in two years' time? Are we still <laughs> going to be MEPs in two years? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. think we might be, which is a disaster. But what I want to happen, because it's very very easy. There's a very simple solution to this, actually, and it doesn't take a genius to solve it. Look at the Brexit Party polling. Look at the Conservative Party polling. We're the Ron Seal. We do what we say on the Tin Party. Yep. Put us together. Leave alliance. Easy majority. Very, very if Boris strong. Johnson yeah. had very, a rose very garden strong. moment yeah. with Nigel Farage, would that not be a show of intent? Yeah. The Ramonas would. would go into meltdown. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. what I think yeah. we need to do. Looking forward to it. Country Brexit before party. Let's get together let's and let's get it. this done. Let's I can't do actually it. let you stop without just saying lovely shoes, by the way, but there are bits. <laughs> Missing. Okay, yeah, I just want to say, shoes. people on Twitter have been getting mental Go about on, my shoes. shoes. I'm going to show, show you my shoes. And I also missing. want to say, nice the, reason, the reason I wear these is because I've got a big metal plate in my ankle. Oh. I shattered it in February. <laughs> and these are my Clark's right. British brand orthopedic Well specials. done, well done. Hey. Okay, enough about the shoe. Final words to Daubney. <laughs> Daubney, <laughs> anything, anything <laughs> useful to say? I think that's a fantastic place to stop. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Brexbox will be back here again very soon. Until then, from all of us here, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>